Hey, if you're new here, my name is Keandre. If you're returning, welcome back. In today's video, I decided that I was going to be recreating my yearbook photo. I got the inspiration from a beauty influencer here on YouTube named James Charles. If you don't know him, go look him up. Today's video is going to consist of me, you know, beating this rub. I hope you guys enjoy, and let's get right into the video. I know I said let's get right into the video, but I do want to just mention my little background I got going on. I did change up the scenery a little bit for you guys, so you guys could have something better to look at. Right now, you kind of can't see it because, you know, the light. I did switch my desk area around so I could have better lighting for my face, and you guys could see me a little better. But these are a couple of drawings that I did myself for my art years and art, art classes in high school. Some I drew at home, some I drew at art class, and those are a little couple of my babies that I've drawn myself. And I have a lot more, but I just decided to hang these few because they have the most characterism to me. But anyway, let's get right into this video. So let's get started right with the video. In today's video, the products you're going to need are your makeup products yourself. I have mine here all laid out in front of me, and we're just gonna go right on in, and dive into this makeup. Um, so the look I went for that day was kind of like a everyday look, but a little amped up because it was picture day. So I did, you know, do a little extra so I wouldn't <laughs> popping. You know what I'm saying? So let's go ahead and just get started. So. Some of the products that I use, I no longer have from that day because it was quite some time ago. But I am going to try to recreate it as best as possible. The first product that I'm going to be using today is going to be this little primer that I have here. It's the Master Primer by Maybelline New York. You know, give your face a smooth face. And actually, on this day, I did not have this product, but we're going to use it today because, you know, why not make this makeup look bomb? All right, so I'm just going to take a little dot here on my hand. That's about enough, I think. And we're just going to dab it on. Now, I usually just rub it in. Make sure you get everywhere. All right. Let it dry a little bit and you're ready for the next step. So the next product that I'm going to be using is going to be my foundation. I have the Fresh Face Liquid Foundation by Bare Minerals. This was actually a custom foundation that I had got made for myself around Christmas time last year. As you can see, it even has my name on it right there. And yeah, it's pretty good match to my skin. Actually, kind of perfect match to my skin. But it is a little bit off because some spots on my skin are a little lighter than they were then. And some are a little darker. But we're just going to go right on in with it. I'm going to be taking my little beauty blender. By the way, this beauty blender is so soft. Just a little side note on that. So I took a few pumps of that on my hand. As you see, that's the color of it. The color is actually... I don't even know the color. I guess the color is Keandre because that's the name of it. <laughs> so let's just go right in with that. Now, it's been... A hot minute since I actually have done a full face of makeup but I'm so excited to be getting back into it because I actually do really like doing makeup I just don't do it as much because I have to work and working pays the bills as we all know Just go, take your beauty blender, bounce it around, make sure you're getting everything all nice, smooth. Don't leave out your eyes because you don't want those nicking a mess while everything else looks good. You know what I'm saying? Gonna take a couple more pops of that. All 
Now, this is a more darker shade around my eye area because my eye area is much lighter than the rest of my face for some reason. But I am going to lighten that back up in just a moment. Make sure you get in the hairline. All right, and that's it. We're all done with the foundation for the first layer, at least. <clears throat> now we're gonna take the second layer, the second layer, which is my L'Oreal infallible 24 hour foundation this is in the color 312 coco oh coco i'm in love with the coco anybody remember that song i kind of didn't like it but that part was like crucial to that right then so i'm gonna take this because this is more of like a caramel brownie color and i'm going to put that underneath my eyes to kind of brighten it up so I don't look as freaking dark because the bare minerals is a bit dark so we're gonna take this and just put it underneath the eye area get that a little light moment giving me some more color back to my skin Now, I am very aware that I kind of look like an Oompa Loompa right now, but it's all going to work itself out, I promise. Trust me. I do this all the time. Oh. So it's going to be fine in just a moment. Once I blend this with a little powder. So usually what I do is I take the infallible and I put it in the places where my face usually is lighter because kind of helps me to brighten those areas up and bring the color that it should be back to it. And we're just going to take some and put it on the chin. Work that in. Now, when I took my yearbook photo, I didn't have a full beard. I just had my little mustache moment going on but now we have a poor beard so it's kind of a different vibe from when I first <clears throat> when I first did it but it's gonna be all right so next I'm going to be taking a little bit of powder this is the black radiance as you can see I use this quite a lot because the words are coming off but it's this soft focus black radiance in the color milk chocolate finish Ooh such a great name for that right milk chocolate mm. but you see it okay and we're just gonna take this on a big fluffy brush this is my revlon for uh, revlon fluffy brush i have here a powder brush and we're just gonna take that and pack that onto the skin Like so, and as you can see, it's coming together really nicely. Like the color payoff. Yes, ma'am. We're killing the game, but you know, we already knew that. <laughs> Alrighty. And I'm also going to be taking a little Star Cross White by Milani. The Prep Set and Go by Milani. And it's in a translucent white. And we're going to be putting that underneath my eye area to brighten that up to make sure it doesn't crease. And it looks its best. So we're just going to put a little bit of that underneath the eye area. Because that will just brighten that up. And all the places that we kind of highlighted with the infallible. Mm. 
please don't mind the makeup face. Everyone has one, trust me. It's never the prettiest, but the outcome is always the nicest. All right. And once you've done that, and as you can see, the skin's looking real smooth, sis. Real smooth. Get with it. Okay. And so I'm going to take a little of my Master Fix Plus. And that's that by Maybelline New York. We're going to take this and set the skin a little bit. Oh, a little wind in my mouth. It's not the best tasting, actually. All right, let that cool off. And as we can see, the skin looks really nice. Like, if the skin's looking nice, let me know down below. Because I think it's looking bomb. All right, so that is the skin finished. And next, we're going to be moving on to these eyebrows. We're going to fill them in and make it look nice. If you want a more detailed video on how I do my eyebrows, because I'm not going to explain the whole process of how I do them, but I will be doing them in this video. But if you would like a full video on how I do my eyebrows for like a makeup day, just comment down below and I'll make it happen for you guys. Right. So the first thing I'm going to be using for my eyebrows is the Wet n Wild Little Paint Pot. This is what I always do my brows with. I've always done my brows with this. It's in the color CA130 in Carbon, Carbon My Reach, apparently. That's what it says. All right, and I'm gonna be taking the little angled brush like this one. And I'm going to be sketching my brows out with that. So let's go right on into it. All right. So I usually, when I start them, I usually start them like halfway through, but that's besides the point. So a couple of fun facts, because I heard that you guys liked the fun facts. A couple of fun facts that I would answer a couple, a couple of commonly asked questions that I get. And one of them is, how is my butt so big? Well, when your family comes from a line of big butts, you're automatically going to have one. And... Growing up, when I used to get in trouble, I used to have to do squats. And that also enhanced my butt a lot. So that's why my butt is so big for all the people who want to know. All right. Fun fact number two is do... I care if you call me he or she. No, I do not. I really don't. Because it doesn't bother me. I mean, it's whatever. Call me whatever makes you feel good. Calling me yes, girl, feels good to you. Hey, go for it, Sister K. If you feel like calling me a he, hey, go for it. I tell people all the time it really doesn't bother me because, hey, it doesn't really matter to me. It is what it is. He, she, her, him. Who really cares? Oh, yes. <laughs> Before, bust it. <laughs> After, <laughs> get with it. All right, and once I like sketch them out and whatnot, make them looking all snatchy. So the next product we're going to be using is the Nick Ack little cream to powder concealer moment we have going on here and as you can see I use this a lot because it's always what I use when I need to clean up my brows yes sis don't hit pan on that but we ain't gonna we ain't gonna discuss that we don't hit pan but it's okay it's okay it still works so usually I just take this on this little doe foot applicator here which is this And I clean it up to the best of my abilities. Mm. 
Another fun fact. Do I care if you call me queer, faggot, any of those race, gay slurs that douchebags like to call gay people nowadays? Um, at first it used to bother me, but now, I mean, like I said with the he, she thing, I just don't even care. Because at the end of the day, I just don't care what anyone thinks, to be honest. And the sooner more gay people realize that, the better. Who cares? Because honestly, if gay was the normal and straight was the obscene, obscure thing that no one talked about, how would gay, um, straight people feel? So I'm going to take this little angle brush by Eco Tools. It is the angled liner brush. As it says there, I don't know if that's coming out right. I don't think it is. Hold on. The angled brush. Is she a little... Yeah, you get the gist. And I'm just going to take that and I'm going to blend this all in. Make it look good. But yeah, that really doesn't bother me. It used to, but not anymore, because at the end of the day, I know what I am. You know what you are. I'm just living life. You know what I'm saying? I'm just living life, honey. Because you only live once, and I'm not going to spend my entire life trying to care about what people think about me. Because if I do that, wow, I am wasting a lifetime, honey. Because there's always going to be somebody talking about you, whether it be good or negative. And I like it all. Negative, good. Hey, if you're talking about me, hey, sis, that means I am on your mind. Please feel free to talk. All right, as you can see, one brow's done. She's snatchity. She's good. <laughs> Before. Okay. I just came with these brows, though, because I really be messing up brow game lines. So next, I'm going to be taking my spoolie and spooling them out, straightening them up, making them look nice. Now, my spoolie is just a old mascara brush, so don't come for me in the comments about it. Yes, it is an old mascara brush, but, you know, she works like she's supposed to, so who cares? She, she gets the job done. Cause ain't nobody got time to be out there buying no real spoolies. Cause spoolies nowadays be high and like, mm, since I got bills to pay, bills to pay. And I'm going to be taking the Wet and Wild Lash Renegade, which is this right here. It's a mascara that I usually just run through my brows in the color black, just to make sure they stay in place and look good all day. And it usually helps any hairs that have turned brown from me concealing. As you can see, she's looking good. <laughs> All right. And next, I'm going to be taking my e.l.f. highlighter. E.l.f. And this is in the color of bronzed glow. I'm going to get a little bronzy glow going on here. Beautiful color. This is the one that I usually use all the time when I'm doing my makeup. It's the Bronzy Glow. And we're going to take this on a little dome top flat brush. The bristles are really light, so it's kind of hard to see it. But it's a dome top. Just going to take a little bit of that. Excess dump. And we're going to put that right there on the brow bone. Now this just gives that area a little pop of color, help it look good. Yes. We killing the game. Kill the game. Alrighty. And as you can see, she don't, ooh. Y'all not ready for it. Y'all really not ready for it. Like, ah, this is 
so cute. I'm really feeling myself right now. Like, let's not talk about it. <laughs> All right. And as you can see, that is the bra. All right. And I'm going to finish the other one off camera, and I will be right back. All right. I'm back. And now we're going to move on to my eyelashes. And let's get those all cute and curled up. All right. So the mascara of choice that I will be using today is the Volume. The Volume Accelerator by Rimmel. Ooh. Yes, she's ready. All right. Another fun fact. Um, kind of guys do I like? To all the black guys out there, look. I don't mind a black guy, but let me tell you, I prefer my meat white. So, to every black guy who thinks I want them for whatever reason, I don't. Because I don't really like black guys like that. Make sure you cut them real good. Real good. Try to avoid getting it on your face because it's very hard. Trust me. I think I did. I'm not going to talk about that. So next we're going to be taking that same elf highlighter, the bronze glow highlighter, and dusting these cheeks to give them a little more glow. Alrighty. And I'm going to be taking this little fluffy angled brush. Cute brush. Look at all my brushes though. Low key, these are like marbled inspired. They real cute though. But that's besides the point. Let's dust this cheek. Let's get this pigment going. What? Oh my god, like, help today. Wow. The pit is there, sis. One swipe. Ready? Sis, someone call Outer Space because I think I stole some stars. And we're just going to take this and line her up so she's not too crazy. Yes, we ready, we ready. We feeling the fantasies. Give me the man. Now on photo day, I actually did do a little contouring and whatnot, but considering that I have a whole beard going on right now, I don't think it's a use to contour. Like, y'all, this highlighter came through, though. Can we just talk about how this highlighter came through? Come through highlighter. <laughs> oh, Nick and Nick cut a lick. That's not the only place we're gonna highlight though. So I need my little fluffy brush we have here. It's a dual sided brush. This brush is so cute. Aww. And one is a smudger and one is a blender brush. Ooh, fancy. We fancy. We're gonna take that same highlighter, the bronze glow highlighter, and we're gonna do a little Tap on a nosy wosy. Make sure she's highlighted because she needs a moment. She needs her moment too. Wow. Pigment it bright. Ain't she cute? 
we're gonna take the little flat dome top again and we're gonna take that one up the bridge of the nose i like a very precise straight line when it comes to the bridge because it don't wander all over the place I do my highlighter on the nose it's like an exclamation I always do an exclamation mark then I just take my little brush here pat her in a little bit make sure she's not crazy and also I also like to take a little bit of that same highlighter once again and we're gonna put that right on this Cupid's bow to give her a little moment. Kinda looks like I ate a box of gold Lucky Charms. I am sorry about the noise in the background. They decided they want to cut grass today. Which is so surprising because they usually cut grass early in the morning and not today. They want to do it in the afternoon. They need to make up their mind. Oh, like she's ready to kill the scene. All right. Once you put it on your cupid's bow, this nook is basically done. All we need now is a little chapstick. And I'm going to be using my little EOS crystal egg I have over here once I grab it. It's trying to hide, but it's okay. <laughs> Which is this one right here. The EOS egg. Ugh. And look at it. It's so pretty. It's like clear and see-through. It's like bomb. And I'm just going to take a little of that. All right, and the last step to the video will be to spray it with a little bit more of the Master Fix setting spray so we can lock all these cute fumes in. Ready? Let's take it away. <sighs> Just got a whole bath. Let her cool off. looking like a whole entree out here get with it <laughs> so this is the finished nook as you can see here if you guys have any comments questions or concerns feel free to leave them in the comments box below don't forget to share, like, comment, and subscribe to the channel. And also take a look at my other videos that I have posted. They are very good. And I will see you guys next time. Goodbye. Hey, my name is Karen Jerry. If you're new here, welcome back. If... Hey, my name is Karen Jerry. Welcome back to my channel. In today's video, we are going to be creating my yearbook photo from 2018 when I graduated. Um, all right, terrible. I mean, what is really going on? Like, I can't focus today. Hi, my name is Kendra. If you're new here, all right. So let's get started right with the video. In today's video. Uh,